All right, everybody. Uh, welcome back again. I'm a little late posting a video up this week. I was at the track all weekend. Had a great time. Had a lot of fun. Set some new personal bests. Um, but I did want to post a video, and in particular, I wanted to answer a question that had been posted uh, on the YouTube channel in response to another video. And that was, how do you reorder the channels within a display? Um, as you can see right here, by default, as you add channels to a display, in this case, let's take our, our time distance display, it always adds them alphabetically. So, you know, accelerator, brake, speed. And then one thing you can do if you want to reorder them is you can just kind of hack around it a little bit if you can change the actual channel name. So in this case, when I created the compare time math channel, I just stuck a Z in front of the, the C in compare. That forces it to the bottom because that's where I always like to see it. So that's clearly one way to do it is if the names, you can just change the names to put them in the order. Um, you can reorder them that way. But that's not really, I think, what you want to do. Um, you really want to be able to move them around or put them at different places on the graph, and it's really not obvious how to do that. Um, it's funny, this is actually the first question I'd ever posted to the Cosworth support channel um, back when I first got started as well. So for me, it was it was a you know a big um, kind of question mark as well. Um, I also, before I get too deep into this, I want to point out that you may notice that uh, the Cosworth Pi toolbox looks different this week. Um, I did recently upgrade to version 9, didn't even know there was a new version um, up until a few days ago and was able to go ahead and purchase the upgrade. Um, so as you can see, they cleaned up the interface a lot. We'll do a drill down on this later, but um, the layout's exactly the same and the procedures we're going to go through to reorder the channels and display are exactly the same. So the first thing you want to do is click on your display and then if you right click, you want to go from the tiled view where each... Uh, individual channel has an even part of your display and you want to change that to overlay. So if you go down axes, change to overlay, you'll see now everything takes up the entire graph. Now that's not exactly what we want either. Um, frankly, at least for me, it's really difficult to make sense of that data when it's all overlaid on top of one another. So what we want to do really is take these things, resize them and move them around. So again, click on our display. If you hit Alt-3 to bring up the channel properties window, um, like we see over here. Now let's start with our, our first channel, which is Accelerator. If I just click on it on the right, it's going to go ahead and click on it on the left over here as well. So I'm going to go down to Accelerator, and then what I want to do is go to Y axis percent enabled and change that to yes. Now once I've done that, assuming it's accelerate, it's highlighted over here, that I've clicked on it over here, you'll see it's now the Y axis in my display. And as I move my mouse up and down the Y axis, you'll notice the cursor changes. So I've now got different things I can do by clicking and dragging on the axis itself. So here I'm just gonna click and I'm gonna drag, I'm gonna resize that. So it's only taking up, let's just say the top rough quarter um, of the display. And now if I put it, my cursor right in the middle and I get the double arrows, I can move it around. So I'm gonna move it down a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same thing with each one of the channels that I have in the display. So I'm going to click on break. Again, I'm going to go over here. You'll see break is highlighted. Change Y axis is enabled to yes. And again, we will resize and we will just drag it down a little bit and do it again with speed. Click Y axis enabled yes. We will size it down, and maybe I want to move that one to the top this time. And then uh, for the last one, for Z compare time, again, I will resize that. Y axis enabled, yes. And the nice thing is I can have different channels now take up a different portion um, of my overall real estate as well. So maybe I want uh, more Y axis room available to compare time because I want to be able to better see um, sort of the size of the deltas. Um, and maybe I want to, in this case, you know, drag the uh, brake and the accelerator down here so they're a little closer, so I free myself up some room. And again, I can expand the speed chart to make that bigger. So it's really about being able to position them where you want them, giving them the size you want, and then, um, again, being able to move them up and down the chart. And it's neat, too, because you have ch if you have channels that make sense to overlay, like maybe you really want to overlay brake and gas, um, well, we can do that. I mean, we can take, uh, in this case, accelerator. Oops, click on accelerator. 
and I can drag it down right over top of the brake. So now I can literally see my accelerator to brake transitions all in a line. So that gives you those abilities to reorder things in the graph, but also overlay the things you want to overlay, tile the things you want to tile, and change the amount of uh, real estate they take up. So I hope this answers your question. Hope it's helpful. Again, keep posting them uh, in the comments on the channel, and uh, have a great day.